Hi, it's Chris here from IH Motorhomes. So today I'm going to do you a van tour on this. This is the Auto Sleeper Winchcomb. Really lovely, lovely thing. Two berth, two seat belts. Now, automatic gearbox in this one and extras on the outside. We've got air suspension, we've got self leveling, we've got a barbecue point, we've got external power, it's got a tow bar on it, it's got a reversing camera, it's got an aircon unit on the roof, it's got solar panels, it's got everything. Let's go in and have a look. So, as you can see, here we are in the Winchcomb right now. So, on the Mercedes chassis, now, previous keeper has, has put this this sort of steering wheel. Um, it's really nice, actually. It's, it, it's, it feels a lot comfier than the you know the normal leather. So that's that's a nice little touch there. Eleven thousand nine hundred thirty-eight miles on this rush right now, and as you can see, we can connect your telephone to this your DAB stereo. We've got sat nav built in, and it's the new Mercedes dash, um, which is good too. Remis blackout screens on obviously the cab doors and the windscreen, and we've got a nice over cab. Uh, roof light there as well. Swivel captain's chairs, and obviously I'm saying everything that's, that's in front of me. Um, but, but what a lovely space. Now, you've got a big open lounge at the front. You can use them as singles, or they do make into a double bed here. But uh, this is absolutely mint. I've, uh, I've not seen many like this before, but this is in tip-top condition. It is like brand new, June 2021 when it was registered. And as I said, you've got the self-level in the air suspension on this. We've got an aircon unit on there as well. It's literally got everything you could possibly want. Um, blinds and fly screens on all your windows and then we've got your storage above uh, but the PS resistance is in the back with the large shower room but we'll do the kitchen in the middle next. Right so we're in the middle of the Winchcomb now so storage under here you've got your uh, your sergeant unit there and you've got your self-leveling controls just in there you've got a little touch pad that removes so you can uh, drop the legs and do all the good stuff with that. Work surface here and then above, you do have a cupboard where your TV would go. So you've got your TV bracket, your aerial connections and everything in there. We keep them in stock, so that's not a problem. Kitchen over to my left. So you've got the hob there, you've got the main hob, 230 volt hot plate. You've got three gas burners and you've got a separate oven and grill on gas as well. And we've got a little extractor fan above there, which is nice too. And as mentioned earlier, we've got your aircon unit on the roof there, which will of course run off mains. And then opposite, we've got your microwave, separate fridge freezer three-way fridge freezer and it's an auto so that will cost run from your mains your gas or 12 volt whilst you're driving but that's a big space as well now freestanding table tucked away just in here so with it being freestanding of course you can use it outside you don't have to take a camping table so you've got the options there as well um, but loads of room in here i keep saying obviously the floor space is massive it might be that if you've got dogs you might want to take your dogs with you so you know you're not sort of tripping up over them or uh, whatever um, but yeah very nice indeed heating and hot water we've got your Truma system which will run from mains or gas and you've got your usual uh, auto sleep control panel there to check your levels your water levels your battery levels um, and turn on all your lights and all that good stuff but your habitation door it's got a bin on it you've got a, a uh, go on. you've got a fly screen on there as well apologies so you've got a fly screen across your hab door of course but you've got your blind on there too let's look in the back so we're in the shower and we've got a screen across which just comes off like that pull that little strap across there then you've got a proper screen just across there which is nice and easy um, light above in here it's got an extractor fan I'll turn it on and off so we can just uh, gather that there we are but good space um, I'm not restricted at all uh, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be perfectly happily using this and then stepping out we've got your basin there's some vanity mirrors above storage in there. We've got storage beneath too. This is quite a funky little thing. You've got some blue LED lights on the uh, on the mirror there. I don't know, don't know how good that would be for uh, for day to day use, but there we are. That's what that is. We've got a little cabinet in here, and then we'll switch around. We've got the loo and the wardrobe, and then opposite the shower, of course, we've got your loo. You've got your bench toilet there. We've got a window. We've got some storage above here too, and then just here we do have a good size hanging space and we've got drawers beneath now in this wardrobe you've got your wi-fi router and we've got a small occasional table as well which will go between the cab, the cab seats in the front so you do have the choice of the occasional table or the freestanding table as well and as i mentioned we've got drawers down here so we've got additional storage space um, but the nice thing about this is that you've got you've got sort of a changing area come shower room come loo so if you are getting out of the shower, you want to get ready, all your clothes and your towels and everything obviously are going to be kept in here. So you've plenty of room to move around. You're not having to close all the blinds in the rest of the van to obviously get ready, have a shower, get ready of an evening to go out, whatever. So that, that ticks a lot of boxes for me too. So this Auto Sleeper Winchcomb 
It's for sale for £83,995. It is on the website, all the specs on there. If you're watching this video, maybe on Facebook or whatever, just click on the link, go to the website. It's there, all the details are there. If you need to speak to us, of course, give us a call. The telephone number is 01977 677 My name's Chris, we've got Sean in sales as well. If you want to come and see us, just give us a quick call, we'll make sure we're available to see you, show you around. If you want a little test drive, we can do that too. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Take care.